What's going on guys, it's your boy K-Star here, back at it again with another action figure unboxing review. Today we're going to be doing the Jojo's Bizarre Adventures Part 3 Dio Brando review and unboxing from Super Action Statue Medicos. So back at it with some Jojo's, some of you might be happy to know. So before we get into it, can you like subscribe hit that notification bell all that boring stuff that you don't want to hear really appreciates us and supports the channel and shout this video out to any of jojo's fans that you know or action figure to collectors so before we get into it i'd like to give us the random item of the day and today it's just a bottle of aquavale still water so you can get this from any supermarket it's like less than a quid, 99p or something for like a box of 6 or 12, I don't know. But always drink your water and always stay safe and healthy. So, if you give me one second, I'll get straight into it. So as you can see there, we've already got Dio out the box. But to start with, we always start with the boring bit, the box, as you know. So, as always, we've got the front of the box. With Dio, Super Action Statue, Dio, Japanese, Shebang, Jojo, blah, blah, blah. The side of the box with some nice holographic letters of Jojo and some art of Dio and a nice Egyptian pattern. The back of the box, we are Medicos, Seal of Approvement sticker there, some poses you can get with Dio, all his accessories, and he comes with quite a lot, this guy, and all the faces you can get him into, a display base and some more Japanese Shebang. Japanese shebang on the bottom and other art of Dio and at the top just Jojo super action statue blah 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 So as Dio falls over We'll get straight into this review So we'll start off with some painting detail As you can see there Dio looking absolutely awesome Very evil and sinister see if we can shine a bit better light on there for you So As you can see there Start off with his skin tone. You have Dio's blonde iconic hair, as always. As my hand keeps shaking. Sometimes I hate doing these things because my hand just continues to shake. Then you have his very manly headband with a heart on. Everything's painted perfectly, even his golden earrings and his sinister eyes. You can even see the red tint in his eyes and the vampire teeth, if you can get that focus there. Absolutely awesome. His collar part of his shirt, very 80s, with a gold tint. His yellow jacket down to his gold royalty wristbands. I like his black shaded top, looking absolutely awesome there. Absolutely amazing. And the same on the back. All the creases in his clothes and the green painted, absolutely awesome. The same shade of yellow for his pants as it is with his jacket. Absolutely awesome, his crotch area painted normally. The belt, green, same as the others, and these little pocket flick things, whatever they are. So quite a consistent, simple skin tone and color code here. So not too shabby, and yet the yellow throughout. The manly heart knee pads there, as you can see down and then the green seam throughout his clothing and then finally the golden shoes to show that he's top of the food chain and as he thinks himself Emperor Dio he thinks he's the best so he dresses like he's the best and he does not care so yeah that's all for paint and detail really absolutely incredible so we can't argue with that if you want a figure of Dio from part three this is your grab quite a good likeness and we can't complain so next while he's here we'll do some a bit of brief articulation so if you bear with me one second we'll start off at his head if my camera wants to focus again which it never does so his head you can go backwards and forwards up quite far not down as much side to side at the head and the neck if you want to but be careful of the very 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 weak neck peg that you've got there you do not want to break these guys so you can go all the way around if you really want to but the hair doesn't always allow him to it's a bit limited 
So that's your basic super action statue head articulation. The arms, the shoulder pads can move backwards and forwards slightly if you heat them up with hot water. The arms you can do about just below 90 or higher if you've got the correct hand pieces in and you can maneuver his arm all the way backwards and all the way forwards. And if you can see under there, that's the ball joint. So you've got that for both sides. He does have a 90 at the elbow. Be careful of this floating piece. He does have a swivel at the elbow if you're very careful. And of course, the 360 wrist as he's holding his knives. And the same to this arm. So your basic action statue articulation there. He does have a forward backwards stomach crunch and a swivel at the stomach crunch and a waist swivel, which is absolutely awesome. You don't always get a waist swivel. This is where it gets a bit more limited. So his legs, you can get like a nice gymnastic split, although you'll never see Dio doing that. You get a swivel at the thigh all the way around if you really want to, if that floats your boat. And you get all the way to 90 or further if you're careful. These rotate, but be careful because they are delicate. So quite nice at the leg, not the best, not amazing. You can get some crazy jumping poses that you'll never see Dio in. He just stands proud usually. So not too shabby on that. And then finally, you get full 360 at the ankle, up and down, and you get a toe pivot, which mine is a bit dodgy, unfortunately. This was my first action statue and my toe pivot came without the joint. So if I break that, goodbye Dio's toe. And goodbye to the 60 bucks, 70 bucks that he cost. So we don't want to have that, so we always be careful with him. So that's basically Dio. He's quite good. He feels delicate, but he's actually quite sturdy. You can't argue with it. Very solid. These are the best representations of the characters in my opinion. So if you want this guy and you're a fan of him, even though he is quite of a sinister dude in the show, then this is your guy. So that's absolutely awesome. What I'll do next is we'll get into some accessories and then wrap up. So as you can see, he comes with his knives from season three. So if you bear with me one second, I'll get the other bits out. So as always with your super action statues, he comes with a boatload of stuff. This one more than others for some strange reason, maybe because it's Dio, very popular character. You get 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13 hands all together. Various poses, grabbing, punching, pointing, showing he's the best, etc. As one falls out and I'm probably not going to be able to find that ever again. So you get a lot of hands, as you can see there. And you get two sets of hands with his knives in, which is absolutely awesome. One for left, one for right. You get his faces, so you get the sinister face that I showed you earlier, which is my personal favourite for Dio. So you get that face there. You get a sort of really cool looking serious face for Dio when he's sussing you out and he's had enough of you, which that looks epic there. And then finally you get his kind of smug, hmm, I'm the best. You're gonna die anyway face which is dead cool so all the faces are solid for mr dio if you lift up the box underneath you get a few bits so you get a few more knife effects as you can see there that you can pose in his hands or on the floor which if you haven't seen the show already you should do but you'll understand that if you've seen the show you get a stop sign which he showed him holding on the box, on the box, which I won't spoiler, but he picks that up at some point in the anime. Also, which you'll know about, you can put that in one of his hands. And then finally his display base, as you know, K-Star never uses. And an instruction manual, which I don't need, but you guys might. So we can't argue with that. So yeah, all in all, for Dio Brando, not too shabby at all. A lot of accessories, a lot of hands if you like your posing. Quite a lot of posability, as you saw in there. And three heads, which you don't always get in these videos. So very, very good, to be honest. I like to keep him in this kind of sinister pose where he's holding the knives, because if those of you who haven't watched the show, 
spoiler warning, his stand is known as the world. And this is the world, you get this separately. You have to pay an extra 70 bucks, you'll be happy to know. But his stand is basically one of my favorite abilities in the whole series. His stand is the world and it can stop time. That's basically it. So for 10 seconds, this guy can stop time and do whatever he wants in those 10 seconds. So he says, the world or, and then time stops and he's free to roam about. He can throw knives at you while times have stopped and then go back to his original place where he was standing. Time will restart and all the knives will wreck you and kill you. As well as that, his stand has super strength and super speed. I think it's the same as Josero's. I think it's got an A in strength and precision. Maybe a B in speed, I can't remember. But there's a reason that he's the main bad guy and the main villain. And as well as being a vampire and having healing, etc. He's also got this overpowered time-stopping ability that he wants to take over the world with. Hence the name The World or The World Dog. So yeah, that's all I've got for this one. I want to wrap this up at about 15 minutes if possible. Maybe just over because these videos can sometimes take remarkably long. And there's no need for it. So yeah, that's the Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Super Action Statue. Dio Brando from Medicos. Awesome grab. I don't personally like Dio. I admire him as a villain. He's really strong and persistent, but he's really horrible in the show. But I absolutely love his power, the world. I think that's broken. And if I had a superpower, I'd love to be able to control or stop time and have super strength and speed. And combine super strength and speed with an ability to stop time at will, you can basically wreck any opponent. So, yep, that's the deal. Sinister, powerful, evil. And to be fair, I think the reason he lost in the anime was pure plot armor because the creator ran out of time and there was no other way to beat him than to give Jotaro the same ability. Pretty big plot armor. But other than that, solid figure, good price. Awesome. Can't complain. My first super action statues these were. Dio and Zawaldo. So they are awesome in the collection. So you can get these from various places. Any of your Japan hobby stores like Plaza Japan, Nin Nin, I don't know, Solaris, have a look online. You can sometimes bag them from Big Bad Toy Store and other sites in the US. But yeah, just type in Super Action Statue, Dio Brando and The World. The World is a lot harder to find because he's more popular. But Dio should be still available because he, he had a re-release not long back and they made quite a few of him. So you should be able to bag one between the, the 60 and 80 price range. I think 80 is the maximum with all your postage and all your fees, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, you might want to grab him. See if you can grab him for the like the 60 mark if you can. But he's worth it, definitely is. So yeah, that's all for this one, guys. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, all that blah, blah, blah stuff that you don't like hearing. Really appreciate it, and it really supports me. Share with a friend, share with a family member, anyone that likes JoJo's, guy or girl, everyone's welcome here. So yeah, thank you very much. Thanks for your time. As always, keep yourself safe in lockdown. Stay safe, and keep collecting.